welcome back. Today we are checking out the Santa Cruz Blur TR. So we've already checked out the Blur XC. This model is very, very similar. It shares the same frame, but they remove a bunch of stuff and give you a bit more suspension. So that's pretty much it, but let's get right into it. So the Blur TR, I think is gonna be the more popular model out of the two. The XC is designed for the true XC racer. The Blur is overall an excellent bike, super lightweight carbon frame. Benefits with going to the Blur TR start with the fact it comes in a lower price point and a lower price spec. This price spec is not available in the XC, it is only available in the TR and that is the R spec. So you're getting more of that NX level shifting, still good level brakes, but it really brings that price down pretty significantly. So now you're under $6,000, which is very reasonable, especially for the quality of bike you're getting from Santa Cruz. So with every Santa Cruz bikes, the little details what goes into building this really high quality bike, honestly, one, they build every single wheel in-house. So this is irregardless of its race face or that Santa Cruz ones, they actually lace and build every single one. So it is precisely put together right down in California by a guy who knows what he's doing. He's not trying to pump them out as fast as they can. They all get hand tuned, then they go through a machine. It's like a perfect system. And that is on the base model all the way up to the highest end reserve set of wheels. So that's a cool little feature. The Blur TR, has been upgraded from 100 mil on the front to 120 mil. And the XC, again, is that race bike, so you're not looking for that super high travel. You're looking for this fast, responsive, lightweight machine. The Blur TR also has 115 mils in the rear, and that is gonna make a big difference for overall comfort and just amount of travel it's got. It's gonna be able to take the bigger hits, it's gonna be able to handle things a little bit softer and smoother instead of just focusing on being the fastest thing ever. And yet it's gonna be a really, really fast bike. The geometry is the exact same, except for the tweaks made because of the longer suspension. You put that fork on a little bit, it's gonna tweak things a little bit. It's not huge, but it will make it just a little bit different handling, not as aggressive, but still a fast, lightweight, cross-country style bike just leaning away from the race and back to the more playful side of things. This down country section is really growing right now. You've got the new top fuels which are out and they are designed to go fast but be fun at the same time. And that's what they're doing with the Blur. You have the XC race model and then you have the Blur TR. This one here is coming with that NX part spec, like I said, so it's nice fast shifting. Obviously the TR can go all the way up to the high end XX1 axis kind of setup. I think the majority of people who buy this though are probably not gonna get that pro spec. I think they're gonna stick in the R spec and the S kit and go with the kind of more entry level stuff, which is still fantastic. But, you know, I think anyone who's looking for the fastest ride around, they're gonna lean to the XC. Cool little features that they've lost but gained other things are the remote lockout. So the XC model has the remote lockout so you can turn off on controls on your handlebar the suspension. That is no longer around. You can only get it on the XC model. TR is just clean. One, it looks clean, which is nice. And two, they've got upgraded grips. So now you are getting an ESI grip and that's a silicone one. It's really soft, it feels nice. It's not too soft like a junky piece of foam. It's really firm, but really soft, but doesn't like get wet or anything like that. It's really interesting. A lot of people like them and these are expensive grips. So it's something to consider as a really big benefit in my mind. I mean, compared to what came on the other ones because of the twist shift remote lockout, you were really limited to what you could even put on those as options because of that feature. There are levels you can change out for it and switch it to a push button, but overall it's actually kind of inconvenient having that twist and uh, click button there. Tires on it are still a super fast rolling one. They are not putting minions on this bike. You can fit a pretty beefy 2.4 on there, but that's not the crowd here. They are still rolling fast. This is your go out on the gravel road, slam some single track, climb really fast, and take pretty much every single king of mountain on Strava you can with this bike. And I think you'll thoroughly enjoy it. It looks fantastic. The salmon color, I believe is what it's called, is really sharp looking in person, doesn't do it justice on the camera in any which way, 
but it still looks great. And then the other color is the exact same as the other ones. They share the same paint scheme, paint, same frames, where it kind of has the salmon in the lettering and then just a black matte black and it looks really good too. Overall, who's this bike for? I think for anyone, anyone who looks to do maybe a bit of gravel riding as opposed to just hunting down the most downhill, that's where this bike comes in. Those down country guys who still want to shred fast, who still want to have fun, but overall they want to be able to do a bit more than just the downhill. They want to be able to bike the distance, get some more kilometers in and actually cover a lot of ground very fast, very efficiently as opposed to just be the fastest guy down that one little section of downhill. And that's really well put and really simple to be honest. So come out, check it out and yeah, see what we can do. Thanks guys.